Hey, Alaman, how's it going? Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Um, I just wanted to start off with yourself and how you're feeling personally. Like a, a, a lot of people might have had doubts that would you be able to last the pace of the game, but there you were still playing out to the very end. Like, how, how do you feel yourself after the end of all that? Um, I feel like I've been in a test match, but I've had those doubts for <laughs> considerable time in my career, so I'm used to them. Um, Maro was just in before you, he called you a, a high energy senior citizen, uh, but I'm sure it was meant as a compliment. Um, you know, what, what are some of the boys saying to you at the end of that game? Because it, it is a real inspiration, you coming back and leading them in that first test. Oh, well, I, I don't know about that, but, um, you know, I think uh, any, any kudos, however, uh, way, shape or form it comes from Maz, I'll, I'll take. Um, but no, I think, um, you know, my, my effort was born out getting back into this, this group. Um, obviously, I didn't know I was going to be selected, but, you know, I'm happy to be a, a part of it, like I say, and uh, add to the energy that, you know, the guys brought today. Cheers. Alan, it's James. Um, at the pre-tour presser, um, you said to me about the importance of going into the test matches hot. You went in lukewarm, switched the kettle on and came out boiling. How did that happen? Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a new one, but I, I think I understand the, uh, the context. Um, no, I think we, we've seen threads of what we can do um, throughout the games leading up to it. Obviously, there were, there were questions uh, after the, the SAA game. Um, and, and again, we probably posed a few of those questions, the way we played um, early on in those early exchanges um, and came through the pressure we, we saw or felt in that, those, um, that middle third, sorry, in the game. Um, you know, the set piece became prevalent as well. Um, so we can be pleased, but there's definitely um, bits to work on from the early part of that game. Katie. Hi, Alan Wayne, Katie here. Hope you're well. Congratulations. Can I just ask about the, the non-test players then um, in the stadium? Have, have, have they had a chance to come in and congratulate the players yet? And, and what's their reaction really? It must be, must be a bit bittersweet for those players. Um, well, everybody's been a part of this from the start of the tour and they still are. Um, the squad um, wins a series and that's um, no way, shape or form been diluted and the way we'll um, enjoy uh, this evening um, and obviously the, the focus that will come uh, pretty quick Sunday and Monday and we're, we're straight back into it but you know everyone's a part of this um, you know and um, that's that's to the fore and that's been the mission statement from Gats from the off. Okay. Thanks Luke. Uh, hi Alan Wynn, congratulations uh, on your win. Um, you did touch on it that the first half really didn't go very well for you guys. Um, outstanding second half there. Uh, how did you guys turn it around? What, what was the chat uh, in the change room at half time? Uh, we, were, we were pretty composed. Um, obviously, we were, uh, I wouldn't say disappointed, probably more frustrated in the fact we um, put a pressure on ourselves. Um, you know, our kicking game got a bit better, our aerial game uh, definitely improved. And like I said earlier, the, um, the set piece. Um, <clears throat> you know, became a bit of a focal point for both teams in that second half. Um, and it was essentially uh, do what we were doing better uh, and execute better. And like I say, not put pressure on ourselves. And we were able to do that and, um, you know, kept the scoreboard ticking over. Hi, Alan Wynn. Um, knowing what you know about Lions tours, is the message now to finish the job next week, not allow it to go to a third test, finish it in two? Excuse me. Um, well, you know, you want to win every game, whether it's uh, domestic, international, Lions. Um, <clears throat> we know um, what we've achieved today, but we also know what we haven't achieved. Um, there's still plenty to do. Um, this is a, a, a three-test series. Um, knowing the you know the caliber of player and the attitude um, our opposition uh, have, that's going to go through the roof next week, and you know we have to be uh, better again. First and foremost, looking at ourselves, but also to deal with what we know is going to come next week. Last one, Jason. Yeah, hi, Alan Wynn. Um, just following up there on your answer there. I mean, yes, of course, the job's only 50% done, but is it important tonight that you have a few beers and relax and chill out and before you get back on to tomorrow on Monday? Yeah, most definitely. I think, um, you know, there were, there were smiles after the, the game. I think I've been involved in, in this sport and I think it applies to any sport that... Um, in sort of moments like this, you have to have to enjoy them. They don't come around very often. 
but the caveat to that is we are only a third done um, and that was message has already been planted um, but it's a time for you know everyone to to take stock of where we are ready to move on like I say to next week cheers thanks congrats again